this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. Hello there. Very funny. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you, I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. That's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We'll look into it. Good. Like I said when we set off, just start turning the soil. Low profile. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. <laughs>